Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Discover Knowledge with Anu. Uh, this video is about uh, finding the inverse of a matrix by using Gauss Jordan method. We can find the inverse of a matrix We can find the inverse of a matrix which is non-singular It means whose determinant is not equal to 0 Using Elementary row operations only this method is known as Gauss-Jordan method it means this tells about that the matrix which is non-singular it means whose determinant is not equals to 0 and to solve that we have to use only row operations now working rule of this method is a is a non-singular matrix of order n now we can write the matrix first point a is equals to i n into a that means a into identity matrix of order n if it is 3 by 3 order then n will be 3 if it is 2 by 2 matrix it n will be 2 then a is equals to i n into a second point now we apply elementary row operations only to the matrix a only in r lh side and the prefactor i n of the form which is in rhs we will do this until the whole equation of the form i n is equals to b into a so we do this process until this i n is equals to b a until it comes to the form of i n is equals to b a then at the time b is the inverse of a it becomes a inverse is equals to b uh, we will do one problem based on this concept uh, so that you can understand very better Find the inverse of A matrix that is 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, minus 3, minus 2, minus 4, minus 4 by Gauss-Jordan method. Okay. First write the matrix A is equals to 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, minus 3, minus 2, 4, minus 4, minus 2, minus 4, minus 4. Now the condition which has to be satisfied is a is equals to i 3 a which is because this is of 3 by 3 matrix. Now write the matrix of a 1 1 3 1 3 minus 3 and minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 that is equal to 
I3, which is identity matrix of order 3. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And write this A as, as it is. Now apply the row operations. We have to apply only row operations. To make, we have to make this as identity matrix until have to apply the row operations until this matrix become identity matrix so whatever the row operations we are applying here we have to apply it for both the matrices for, for a matrix and for identity matrix first to make this element as 0 I am applying the row operations from R2 to R1 from R2 to R1 to make this element as 0 R2 minus R1, then this element becomes 0. 1, 1, 3. 1 minus 1, 0. 3 minus 1, 2. Minus 3, minus 3, that is minus 6. And next, minus 4, min minus 2, minus 4, minus 4, as it is. Now, same row operation we have to apply to this matrix. Then this becomes 0 minus 1, that is minus 1. 1 minus 0, 1 and 0 minus 0, that is 0. Next, 0, 0, 1. In similar way, uh, next we have to apply the row operation from R3 to R1 to make this element as 0. Into A. Then, applying the row operation from R3 to R1, that is R3 is equals to R3 plus 2 into R1. Then at that time, what it becomes minus 2 plus 2 into 1. Then this element becomes 0. 1, 1, 3, 0, 2, minus 6 and minus 2 into plus of 2 into 1. That is 0. Next minus 4 plus 2 into 1 that is minus 2 minus 4 plus 2 into 3 that is plus 2 equals to 0 plus 2 into 1 that is I will write the matrix here then next 0 plus 2 into 1 that is 2 0 plus 2 into 0 that is 0 and 1 plus 2 into 0 that is 1 into A. Now we have to make this element as 0. To make el this element as 0, I am applying the row operation from R3 to R2. That is R3 implies 0 plus R2. So, when I will add this 2, it becomes minus 2 plus 2. Then this element becomes 0. The matrix as 113, 0, 2, minus 6 and 0, minus 2 plus 2, that is 0 and 2 plus of minus 6, that is minus 4. That is equal to 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 0 and next 2 minus 1 that is 1 and 0 minus 1 that is 0 plus 1 that is 1 and 1 plus 0 that is 1 into A. Now I will write the previous operation here. 1, 1, 3, 0, 2, minus 6, 0, 0, minus 4. That is equal to 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1 into A. Okay. Now I am applying the row operation from R1 to R3. 
to make this element as zero. To make this element, now these three elements we have to make it as zero. First, I am applying the row operation from R four to R three, R one to R three. That is R one implies four into R one plus three into R three. Now the first row becomes four into one plus three into zero. That is four. Four into one. Four four into one plus three into zero. That is four. And four three is a twelve plus of minus three into minus four. That is zero. Now these two rows as as it is. Four into one plus three into one. That is seven. Four into zero plus three into one. That is three. And four into zero plus three into one. That is three. Minus one one zero one 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 into a. Now applying the row operation from R two to R three to make this element as zero. Row operation as R two implies four R two minus six R three. Then matrix becomes four into zero minus six into zero. That is zero. Four into two minus six into zero. That is eight. Four into minus six minus six into minus four. That is zero. Zero zero minus four equals to first row as as it is and four into minus one minus six into one that is minus ten and four into one minus six into one that is minus two four into zero minus six into one that is minus six. One 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 into a. Now, furthermore, applying the row operation from R one to R two to make this element as zero. Operation follows as R one implies two into R one minus R two. Then two into four minus zero. That is. Eight and two into four minus eight. That is eight minus eight is zero. And two into zero minus zero, zero. That is equal to two into two three into seven minus of minus minus of minus that is eight. That is twenty four. And next two into three minus of minus six. That is twelve. Then minus ten, minus two, minus six, one, one, one into a. Now to make it as identity matrix, I am applying the row operation as R one implies R one divided by eight. Then this element becomes one. Next R two implies this R two implies R two by eight. R three implies R three by minus four. Then it becomes eight by eight one zero 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 eight by eight one zero 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 minus four divided by minus four. That is one equals to. Similarly, the row operations we are apply here. Then twenty four by eight. Eight by eight, twelve by eight, minus ten by eight, minus two by eight, and minus six by eight. One by minus four, one by minus four, one by minus four. As we are applying in rows into a. Now solve this matrix.
and this equal to 8 3 is a 24 8 1 is a 8 and this is 3 by 2 minus 5 by 4 minus 1 minus 1 by 4 minus 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 into a now it is of the form i is equals to b into a when we convert to this then a inverse is equals to b now a inverse is equal therefore a inverse is equals to the final matrix which we got 3 1 3 by 2 minus 5 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 3 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 so this is our the resultant matrix of a inverse so by this method we find out the inverse of a matrix by using gauss jordan method thank you